Hello all, it's great to be back. Uh, extra, extra, read all about it. Freedom of press? Now what's that? Well, according to Google, freedom of press is the right to report news or circulate opinion without the censorship from government. Now does that, my question in all this is, does that include getting news that is undoctored, unadulterated, and unredacted truths or news, if you will? Well, it's up to you all to decide that, right? Now, uh, before the 13 American colonies were declared sovereignty from Britain, or from British rule, Britain uh, was at high pursuit at censoring uh, publication of the American American news feeds. They censored it. Perhaps they thought that uh, it's unfavorable news, um, distraught. The news was would be distraught to the people. Uh, they didn't. They wanted to hide the truth, and that included opinions too. And all that put together, isn't that a right? For, uh, for all that true, undoctored information to be released to us, the American people? Isn't that all right? Now, I haven't said that. So how did free press all come about, right? Well, uh, a prime example was Cato's Letters, where that was uh, a compilation of essays written by two British nationals, which we were talking about Britain, right? Two British nationals by the name of John Treachard and Thomas Gordon. Now, what they did was they wrote in their essays condemning the British government for um, practicing corruption, immorality, and because they were simply tyrannical in nature. Now, where did those days go is what I want to ask. Today, freedom of press, freedom of speech, it's pretty much, I don't want to say censored, but it depends on where the pendulum swings and where the news is coming from, right? But I see it as sometimes being pretty one-sided. But then you got to look through so many outlets out there, news outlets, to get the real information. Anyways, let's go back to, let's go back on course, if we will. Now, freedom of press. Uh, do you know the first state that allowed for freedom of press? That would be the state of Virginia, where and in 1776, they had the Declaration of Rights, where freedom of press was set in stone, if you will, in my opinion. That, that's what I say. And what happens was that President Madison at the time, he took close note at that, and he being the um, well-read as he was, and the founding father, as the others were too, he devised a plan and drafted what we know today as the First Amendment. That's right! Which includes freedom of press, freedom of speech. So having said that, it's also one of our other founding fathers by the name of George Washington, our, uh, one of our other founding fathers by the name of George Washington, I got a little tongue tied there, happens people, said the following quote, if men are to preclude from offering their sentiments on a matter which may involve the most serious and alarming consequences that can invite the consideration of mankind, reason is of no use to us. The freedom of speech may be taken away and dumb and silent we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. Now, having said that, I want to leave you guys to a note with this note. So freedom of speech, our First Amendment right, includes the liberty to speak as well as be heard. And does that, and I would like to add to that, that the news, the stations have the right or we have the right to get the accurate information, right? The what's black and white. I'm not looking for anything 
un, I'm looking for the unadulterated, uh, the real news, unredacted truths, and that's all it's about. So that's my two cents there. You guys have a beautiful, blessed weekend, and we'll see you all next time, right? <laughs>